Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Tag Team Portugal. I'm sorry, Tag Team Scotland with Arumba. Yes. Say hi, Arumba. Yes. Tag Team Scotland. Don't get it wrong. How's it <laughs> going? We are very green Scotland today. It's going quite well. We're planning a war against Morocco and Grenada. What's the plan? Um, well, we're... I don't know how much of this we talked about last time because we had some time in between videos here, but um, basically we're going to try to snipe Grenada from Castile, even though they took the mission... Or they, don't, they haven't actually taken the mission yet, have they? They will. They have not taken and finished the Reconquista, but we want to make sure that we get control of it and that they don't. They actually fabricated a claim on Gibraltar. So here's a question then. If they fabricated a claim on Gibraltar and then they take the mission, which gives them free claims on the rest, and let's say we full annex Grenada, does that canceled mission get rid of their fabricated claim? I don't think so. I think okay. they keep it on Gibraltar. But we can handle them having a claim on us. Yeah, it's the same thing as like if you have a... Because we also have the plus 25 historical friend bonus, so we're probably okay. Yeah, it's very unlikely for the AI to backstab us. Very likely we will backstab them. Don't tell them that. Well, they, they can't hear us. Our secret. Yeah, they can't hear us. It's a secret. All right. Alliance, Slimson, done. Yay. All right, so we'll, let's check. Will they actually honor a call against, uh, against Morocco? We can't even look. I hate how you can't even look while you have Regency. <laughs> you can't even consider it. Yeah. There's a lot of things where the menu lockouts kind of make it tough to make a decision. Oh, one thing we have to remember is our trade fleets, right? Let's yeah, I just merged them. Here. I just merged them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start getting relations up with France because we can't use that diplomat for anything else, really. Okay. And we have a claim finishing in a couple months and another claim finishing, I think, in January. Looks good. Okay. We're, we're done with exploration for now. So we need to wait until... What's the next thing that unlocks more exploration? Do we just need to get a colony, or do we just need more tech? Uh, no, we just need more range. So That's more what's tech. stopping us from okay. doing it. Yeah. Like, I think... Um, I don't know. I don't know, like, specifically what it is. It's naval range from cores or something? Well... Trade range might be tra what... Trade range is tech 4, but colonial range is tech 7. Well, our first idea group will unlock more colonial range. Oh, are you suggesting that we're taking exploration? No, just our first national idea is oh, plus twenty-five percent really? colonial range. Oh, wow! Well, there mm -hmm. you go. Very cool. Legacy why wouldn't of the navigator? Why why wouldn't we take exploration though? Isn't that like the best first idea group for us? Well, if you want to actually explore, you need it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you said it like you thought maybe we wouldn't take that. I kind of get the feeling that. It would be a little more balanced if expansion ideas also gave you the ability to do quests for the new world. Like, just let you, instead of explorers, just give you conquistadors or something. Just let you explore somehow. Oh, mm -hmm. there's Union, Poland, Lithuania. There you go. Notice how um, Castile has fabricated Yay, a second, they fabricated a second claim instead of taking the mission. All right, so the Duke of Coimbra. King Alfonso was only six years old when he became King of Portugal. For the first eight years of his reign, the country was ruled well by the Duke of Coimbra in his place. However, after Don Alfonso has ascended the throne of his customary age of 14, uh, I think you mean 15 game. He's 15 game. Intriguing noblemen at the court managed to cast doubts in the young king's mind about the intentions of the Duke. So we have a choice. The king is tricked. We gain stability. Or the Duke survives and we get trade efficiency and national tax modifiers for the length of the life of the king. So we talked about this, right? We talked about this event, and I think we decided that we wanted the taxes and trade efficiency, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Stability, stability comes and goes, but taxes and trade efficiency for the life of the king, he's 15. He, he could live to 16, or he could live to 65. You know, who knows? What I'm betting on 16, probably. Oh, yeah, we're going to have we're gonna have no, we're going to have another Regency Council. You're just like. the worst. We don't need uh -huh. Regency. If, we want to, if we're going to declare war, we don't need Regency. So what does it say? If we declare war, Tlemcen will not join because no. of his defensive attitude. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Well, it makes sense. I mean, he's just looking at us as, as a defender against Morocco to help protect him. So should we go ahead and uh, get some mercenaries yeah, going for Grenada? Um, yeah, I think I think basically what we should do is... Uh, well, I don't know. I feel like we could probably hold out with a 12 stack in Ceuta. Just don't bring you? five guys over, kill that stack of three. Yeah, we could do that. He is in the mountains, it's, though, but we can still kill him. We got a good general. Right. And then also, at the same time, we we could take the Fez. I think we should move the army to Fez, actually. They could easily hold out in the mountains. Yeah. 
We could do that. Uh, so move the army to Fez. So move the army to Fez with the three three general, and then move into Grenada. Yes, but we don't need all seventeen to kill that three stack. Like we can send the five stack over right now. Oh, good point. And then so bring the same five stack back. Okay. Yeah, let's get um, military access from Castile. Done. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yep. Okay, and then uh, I'll go grab five troops. Actually, yeah, just five infantry is probably good, yeah? I think we can do it with five, yeah. I don't like how we don't have access to their ports, unless you actually ask for access to their ports. Yeah, it's, it's kind silly, of because if, if you get in a war together, you automatically have access. So, right, but you mm -hmm. don't get increased supply range from their forts, which is mm -hmm. stupid, or mm -hmm. their, their ports. Okay, all right, so our navy's good. I think we're ready. You, anything else you want to do before we declare? I think we're good to go. So the, the plan is to send the 12 stack into Fez, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And they're going to camp in the mountains and siege that fort. And we're going to take the general out and put him in Cadiz so he can take out that army in Grenada. Right. And is Cadiz to Grenada a good path? No river crossing and all that? Let me check. Well, there is um, a river, but he has no leader right now, and our leader has three maneuver. Jayen, so. Cordova, Sevilla, Almeria, and Cadiz. The only place that doesn't have river is Gibraltar. So we could go to Gibraltar and then Grenada. No river. Okay. Well, we should wait until, until March 1st because the AI will not turn on forts usually unless they can afford it. And At the I don't turn think... of the month, they'll get the money. Gotcha. Yeah, so Grenada doesn't have it. Oh, sorry. Ah! <laughs> we both did it. So okay. Grenada's fort is off. Uh -huh. and, and so that means that when we, we can move in, they don't actually have a fort. They won't be able to reinforce it. Now, do you want to do you want to do both these battles right away? So like, I think so. Yeah, five on three without a leader, we should still win really easily. Okay, let's Don't do it. it. Let's do it. All right, Poor I'll guy. declare. I'll declare not calling in Castile. Castile. Yep. No Castile. And we're gonna make it over Tangier. Tangier. Well, Tangier has a fort. Why don't we, Why don't we make it over one of the ones that doesn't have a fort so we can Put get the ticking, ticking war score? score. Uh, okay. Let's, well, which one? Let's see. Garb has mm, ten developments. Let's do Melilla. Melilla. All right, done. All right, are you going to declare then? No, no, you got it. And why'd you say done? I agree. I'll say I agree. Okay. All right. Done. <laughs> Crazy man. All okay, right. So you're moving on Fez. We're going to head to Gibraltar and then Grenada as soon as he joins the war. Now he has a one zero general. I wonder if my five stack can beat him up. Definitely. Five on three? You have sixty six percent more troops. It doesn't matter how, how well he rolls, sixty six percent is just huge. And we rolled a nine. <laughs> well that helps. That helps quite a bit. Alright, yeah. so now we have um yeah, so you're gonna send one troop to each province and then we yes. can call in to steal? Yes. And they can they can definitely help out with like managing the sieges. In fact, why don't we pull two of the troops off from Granada and send them back to Ceuta? We can do that, definitely. I'll get not, on that. We're not relying on uh, our own men to do this siege. That'd just be silly. All right. So, priority position there. Okay, ready to call in Castile. All right. I'll do that. Done. Oh, you did that. Damn it. Did you notice that there's a new alert? I did. I didn't mention it, but yeah, there is a new alert. It's a trumpet, right? Yeah, it's more of a bugle. You're a bugle. But, All right. So, do you want to bring in um, these extra troops from Sevilla? I think yes. Why are you sending them to Alentejo? No, I was just going to go replenish because they replenish better in Alentejo. Doesn't matter. True, but our leader's still in Fez. Why don't we try to take him? Nice. Still, actually, has some good boats. Uh, we need to get military access to Clemson. I just did that. Very and good. And now we'll dock in Ojda. And then we'll just go join those two troops up with the guy in Fez. The guy in Fez. Oh. Oh, right. Sweden has declared independence. Forgot about that. And uh, Muscovy seems to in be invading Novgorod. Have you noticed? Are they going to win? Because usually Novgorod seems to be doing quite well. well they, they're already at Novgorod. I think they've got it in the bag. All right. Now, whatever you do, don't mess up the Siege of Granada, because the AI is very picky. It is impossible to mess up the Siege of Granada. Oh, I don't know. You and your C button. <laughs> that wasn't a siege. That was declaration of war. <laughs> it's an inside thing. We're not going to talk about that any longer. <laughs> it's 
So do you think Castile's actually going to cross the water here to come help us on this side? They they will. Uh, you know what's you know what'll do it is if I put targets in the south of Morocco for them to go siege. I'll do that. Yeah, Castile, you go down there. You do that stuff. You go siege this fort. You go do that. He'll do it. He'll probably wait until Grenada has finished sieging though. Yeah, because he foolishly thinks that because he's got 15,000 troops there that he's going to get Grenada. Well, that and he has a claim on it. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to get it. Just like the, yeah, AI, just like the no. AI thinks that, that they're sieging something when they're black flagged and they're not actually sieging it. It's like, I'm helping. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, wow, he's recruiting troops. Good guy, Castile. So there's um, there actually are quite a few troops over here in Morocco. Uh-huh. You mean like Moroccan Ooh. troops? Oh, wow, they have a... a what is that general? He's a 3-3 general from Mazab. Nice. I wonder if we could just separate piece Mazab. Maybe. That way we don't have to fight that general. Or just wait for Castile to come down and let them do all the work. That sounds fun. We definitely could go separate piece Mazab because his army is here in Morocco. I still think we should probably finish the siege of Fez though, right? Oh, it's certainly. It's, it's a nice fort. I want to siege it down. Level um, 3. Mazab is only a level zero, so we could siege it with just three troops, just as capital oh. has the capital fort. That makes it a level one. No, it's not a level one. Oh, you mean it like is. The, the, what is it? Do they call it the garrison level or the fort, fort level? Fort, okay. Fort level, level one. That is, so, fort. that is so bullshit, though, because you have in Lisbon, for example, it shows the number one, and if you mouse over it, fort level three, because one equals three. It's like, what? Right. <laughs> yeah, I agree completely. I've complained about that a lot. That that number should show the actual fort number, not the number of how upgraded the structure is. Right. Because each structure provides plus two, but it never factors in the capital. It's just, it's really stupid. It should say one, two, three. Like, you could have anything. One, two, one through nine are all possible. So any preference on uh, who we get as our buddy-buddy outside of France and Aragon? Should we target anyone specifically? Like, for backstabbing Castile. Probably England, because naval power would be nice. Okay, done and done. And if we can ally him and then declare the war instantly, um, he won't be able to, or no one's going to get pissed off, right? No one's going to break our alliance. If we get an alliance and then declare the war right away, we're not going to lose any allies. They'll all join. Right, are you already thinking about attacking Castile? I am thinking about this beautiful yellow country right next to us that uh, really should be green. You mean yellow like Scotland? Yellow like Scotland, yes. Let's go not invade yellow, Scotland. Not yellow like Castile, because yellow no. like Castile is it's just ugly. It is not ugly at all. I don't know what you're talking about. It's beautiful. So it's we're having bad country. luck. Bad luck with our siege. We're going kind of slow compared to Ceuta. Hmm? And Ceuta is a, a level one siege general. That's that's why they're getting bonuses. Look at that. that. That guy is a 0001. Hey, Maria. Maria. Hey, we have a female heir. Can we get the... Uh, we should totally take the Iberian wedding. It's ours, Would, right? Wouldn't that be cool if it was just random? It didn't have to be Castile and Aragon? That'd yeah, be that awesome. Would be nice. Just random Iberian nations could get the wedding. Portugal and Aragon, Portugal and Castile, Castile and Aragon. Why not? Why not? No, we are losing quite a few troops because of the siege. We have too many troops in the province. Do you want to go kill that army in Ceuta? His general is crap. I do, but I don't want to risk giving up the siege, and you need 9,000 troops there. We could just maintain leave one it. guy there to do the battle and then come back. Yeah, but one guy, I just they could come around. Maybe we leave... Well, yeah, one guy's... Okay, sure. He's going to reinforce. It's going to end up being 14 on 20. Uh, you just want to wait for Castile to show up? Because we can defend in Fez forever. It's a mountain. Yeah. Okay. Even if we lose control of Ceuta, I don't think that's going to end the war. And 14 on 20 with a river crossing and all that. Yep. Well, the river crossing would be gone, but the, the hills penalty would be there. Yep, I think we're fine. I just wish that the Siege of Fez was going better. Oh, you can't get everything. What I wish is if uh, Castile would actually come help us. So once Grenada falls, I think he'll do that. I mean, he's yeah. got 20-something thousand troops up there. Let's see, 16. Yeah, he's got 29,000 troops just chilling, doing nothing. So if Grenada would just fall, that'd be so nice. Come on, just fall. Just fall. Oh, oh. Austria has eaten Ferrara from Ferrara. Nice. Yeah. 
Nice job protecting the small princes there, Holy Roman Emperor. Well, he got hungry, you know? And people are still voting for him. Well, of course. He's going to protect the Empire from itself. By eating everyone in the Empire. I really don't like how we're suffering 2.7% attrition. It's a mountain province. It happens. Ah, oh, we failed again. You don't you don't worry about that at all? It doesn't bother you? Like 2.7? It, it bothers me. It just makes me think that we should use mercs instead of real soldiers. So the sooner that we conquer the Sevilla trade node, the more mercs we can handle. Now, we're losing 432 soldiers per month to that attrition. Do you want to piss off the Pope by 100, or do you want 11 rebels in Algarve that Castile can kill for us? The rebels, definitely. Done. Get him, Castile. Because the, the Pope is... Uh, we should be improving relations with the Pope, by the way, so we get more papal influence. Okay. Can do. I like papal influence. I like Especially... the... Oh, there goes Grenada. Good. I like that Castile's killing our rebels for us. Yeah. It's like, oh, right, we're, in a, so... we're in a war. That army's red. Kill him. So you ready to full annex Grenada? Or they're probably not going to accept yet, but... Let me take a look. They will accept. Nice. We can even get uh, them to break an alliance. No, we can't. All right, just done. It's going to cost us some, uh, some diplomacy points, which sucks, but... It's also going to cost us negative um, 59 aggressive expansion against Morocco. Wow. Well, hope, oh, you, well. Like, hope you like a coalition. Oh, it's just going to be him. All right. All right. That actually, that did cost us the diplo points, right? I wasn't paying attention to the number. Does it? 81, yeah. 81 diplo. I don't like that. We used we used a claim war against Morocco. Like, okay, if you use holy war and you piece out someone else as a co-belligerent, then it costs zero dip. We used a claim war and we pieced out a, a non -co like a co-belligerent non -co with claims and it, it did cost dip. Yep. Why? Because reasons. Good reasons. And here comes Castile right to Tangier. Look at that. As soon as we finish the siege, he's like, hey, I'm going to come to Africa now, and I bet he can help us against Ceuta. We might even be able to save Ceuta. Yeah, we should go move on it right now. Oh, he's going. Let's let him lead. We'll let him get there first, and then we'll attach and go reinforce. I don't think we even have to help him. We should. We'll flank. We won't he's take winning. any damage. Doesn't matter. We want to flank and take no damage and just all right. Make sure that we win. All right. Unless you wanted his troops to die. I like watching Castile's troops die. It's like watching France die. Don't you like right, watching I... France die? The war goal itself is Melilla, so let's go get that taken care of now. I would go for anything that he might have a claim on. It looks like he hasn't claimed anything. Okay. Never no, mind. he was. We're good. He, he was totally focused on. Um, on getting. Granada. <laughs> it's not going to happen. He and now he's got it. minus 20 opinion for half claim, half cast a spell. And that's going to last until 1471, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah. We'll, well, we'll, probably, he, we'll probably have broken the alliance by then. I'm, I think he's like guaranteed to stay friendly while he has his historical friend. You think so? I feel like that's true. I'm not I, sure 100%, but... I have seen Castile and Portugal go to war, but it's usually when their colonies fight each other, you know? Well, for me, it's usually when... One of them attacks Aragon. Oh, that's true, yeah. Or when Aragon attacks one of them. Yeah, like if Aragon attacks Castile and Aragon's allied to Portugal, then Portugal sometimes will honor the call. Um, or I, I can't remember exactly what it is. But sometimes somebody forces Castile and Portugal to be enemies. It's um, No, it's when Castile attacks Aragon. Okay. And Portugal has to defend them. They defend Aragon, yeah. What, what is he? What is he doing in Ceuta there? What, what's that all about? I don't know, but I think Castile's going to come kill him. Yeah, this this one I think we should just let them do. Maybe we should go peace out Mazab separately and take all their money. We could do that. I just set that to to Castile's job. We'll see if they actually go over there or not. <laughs> nope, he's going to Ceuta. Get him, Castile. He's like woof woof. Now, do you do that because I do that, or is it just something that you do, like what? people in general? Treat AI, big AI countries as like dogs. They like, are. Sick them, sick them, boy. Like, yeah. go get them. I think all players do that. Sweden lost their independence war, and he lost his claims. Oh, man. How? Didn't he pull in, like... He pulled in Novgorod, and Novgorod got destroyed by Muscovy. 
See, when I played in Sweden, I, I'm actually playing a campaign for it right now. Oh my god, that's so loud. The more people that are in the coalition, the strong, or not the coalition, supporting your independence, the stronger your country looks to them. So if you call in like two countries, that allows you to call in more countries because they right. think you're strong. I called in six countries. It was like, it was like Scotland, England, Did you even have Lithuania. to do any of the war yourself? No, it, it was literally like 150,000 troops versus yeah. Denmark's like 10. And Norway's was, like five. Yeah, it was no chance of us of uh, not, not making it free. So France is eating Brittany. That's normal. Is he going to full annex them? He's at 100. What's he doing? Oh, he's attacking. He's not even defending? Did he, did he go to war with England? No. He attacked Brittany. He's at 100% war score. I'm really surprised that England hasn't attacked him. Yep, full annexation by Brittany. So is that a coalition? Tell me that's it a coalition. It should be. It's not. Well, 46 against Burgundy. He might get a coalition. Well, yeah, the coalition's 30. So England and Burgundy will... England, Provence, Burgundy will join it. Even Castile could join it. You think they will? I think they should. I, w I, w I wish the AI would just like be more aggressive with coalitions. Yeah. All right, well... Ah, I'm, Fez uh... has fallen. All right. So why don't we call that here? A Sounds good start good. to the war. We have Grenada conquered, including the wonderful fort of Grenada. Do you want to keep you, that funded? I guess we'll keep it funded. Why not? Yeah, you know, we actually don't even need to stay at war now. We have enough war score. We might be able to just take those three provinces. You yes. don't have to siege in order to take something anymore. But didn't you want to humiliate as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, All right. we'll take a break then. Bye-bye, everyone. All right, see you soon.